Hello, and welcome to LSET Tech Bytes. Today, we're diving into a Java program that moonlights as a basic calculator. It's time to dissect the code line by line. We will begin by declaring a class named Calculator. This is where all the magic happens. The spotlight is on the main method. It's the entry point for our program, where the show begins. We're setting the stage with some character, operator for our operation and number 1, number 2, and result to store numeric values. As we will be receiving input from the user in this program, let's import the scanner class from the Java util package. The scanner class is like our trusty sidekick helping us grab user input. Now meet our co-star, the scanner named input. It's ready to take in user input from the console. Cue the audience interaction. Users get to pick an operator. The first character of their choice is stored in operator. It's number time. Users input two numbers and we store them in number one and number two. The plot thickens with a switch statement. It's like our script, directing the flow based on the chosen operator. We start with a switch statement that evaluates the value of the operator variable. The switch statement allows us to perform different actions based on the value of the operator. If the operator is plus, we add number one and number two, store the result in the result variable, and then print a message showing the addition operation and the result. If the operator is minus, there's a mistake in the code. It subtracts number one from itself instead of subtracting number two from number one. The corrected line should be result number one, number two. This subtraction result is then printed. If the operator is multiply, it multiplies number one and number two, stores the result in the result variable, and then prints a message showing the multiplication operation and the result. If the operator is division, it divides number one by number two, stores the result in the result variable, and then prints a message showing the division operation and the result. If the entered operator doesn't match any of the cases, plus minus multiplied division, the default case is triggered. It prints a message informing the user to enter a valid operator, the curtain fall. We gracefully exit by closing the scanner, wrapping up our performance. And that's a wrap. Run the code, play with it, and enjoy the interactive experience of our little calculator. Thank you for joining us today. Stay tuned for more Java videos.